Welcome to ACB's Math Made Easy channel. My name is Neri and we're going to discuss today about simplifying fractions or getting its lowest term. Come on, let's start. We know that 2 fourths is 1 half, as well as 7 14 and 3 over 16. They were all 1 half. But how can we simplify them to 1 half? First, I'll tell you the type of fractions these are. They are called proper fractions. Proper fractions means that the numerator is less than the denominator. To simplify it, we have to get the greatest common factor or GCF of the numerator and the denominator. To get the GCF of 2 fourth, we need to factor them out. 2 can be factored out by 1 times 2. So the prime factor of 2 is 2 only. Just list the prime number. 4 can be factored out by 2 times 2. And the prime factors of 4 are 2 and 2. 2 and 4 has only one common factor of 2. So the greatest common factor of 2 and 4 is 2. Now that we have the GCF of 2, the next step is to make 2 the numerator and denominator and then divide them. 2 divided by 2 equals 1 and 4 divided by 2 equals to 2. We have just simplified 2 fourth to 1 half. We are now going to simplify another fraction 5 over 15. 5 can be factored out by 1 times 5. The prime factor of 5 is 5 only. 15 can be factored out by 3 times 5. The prime factors of 15 are 5 and 3. 5 and 15 has only one common factor of 5. So the GCF of 5 and 15 is 5. Now that we have the GCF of 5, the next step is to make 5 as the numerator and denominator. And divide them. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. And 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. So we just simplified 5 over 15 to 1 third. How about improper fractions? Let's define first improper fraction. Fractions that has a numerator greater than the denominator is called improper fractions. Example, 3 over 2. But how are we going to simplify it? Simply divide the numerator to the denominator. 3 over 2 can be written to 3 divided by 2. And when you divide 3 to 2, you will get an answer of 1 remainder 1. You can rewrite it to 1 plus 1 over 2. This is exactly the same to 1 in 1 half. This is our answer. And this fraction is called mixed fraction. It is a combination of a whole number and proper fractions. We will simplify another example, 9 over 4. We write 9 over 4 to 9 divided by 4. And you will get an answer of 2 remainder 1. We write it to 2 and 1 fourth. And this is our answer. That's our lesson for today. Bye-bye.